Well, it's happened. Kansas State defensive end Felix Anudk Uzama has chosen to forgo his eligibility, his remaining eligibility at Kansas State, and declare for the NFL draft. I'm Derek Young. You're listening to the K-State Online YouTube channel. And as always, like, follow, subscribe, and leave tons of comments on all of our videos here at K-State Online. Back to the teeth of the discussion. Felix Anudk Uzama, a Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year this season. Also, Big 12 Defensive Lineman of the Year this season has chosen that he'll enter the NFL draft just as running back Deuce Vaughn chose to do so a couple weeks ago. Both are coming off pretty strong Sugar Bowl performances against Alabama where their NFL stock surely rose even higher. Eight and a half sacks this season for Felix Enidike Uzama. Of course, the two accolades I already listed for him. He also had 46 tackles. And 11 and a half for loss that earned him Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year. He also had 52 tackles in 2021, 15 and a half of those for loss, and that included 11 sacks. And with the strong 2021 season, remember, he also had four sacks in a contest against TCU inside Bill Snyder Family Stadium. For those that remember, it should have been six. The NCAA took two away as well just because they included fumble recoveries ahead of the play. For his career, Felix Enidike Uzama also can, you know, collected 20 and a half career sacks, 101 tackles, and 27 and a half for loss. He will go down as one of the best defensive ends and pass rushers to ever go through Kansas State football history. They'll have a lot to replace as he leaves a, sh- a big void along the defensive front for the Wildcats. As I said, Deuce Vaughn also already declared for the NFL draft. Although offensive lineman Cooper BB will make his return to Kansas State, he had the opportunity to declare early for the NFL draft as well. We have plenty of other information to reveal at K-State Online. We've already reported several others, and in, in especially as to which super seniors will make it back to Manhattan and which won't. So stay locked at kstateonline.com for that. And as always, stay here at the K-State Online YouTube channel for more information regarding your Kansas State Wildcats.